everybody, Ira Miller here with Homes Around the Villages YouTube channel and I Am Realty, my brand new brokerage that I just um, opened up in February. So I wanna welcome you to this video. This video is coming to you from the villages and the village of Finney. So David and Trish emailed me. They asked me, hey, could I give them some more information on this home? This is a home that they're very interested in. This home has had a severe price reduction. It is now listed at 414.9 and 414,000 for this home with the golf car garage sitting on a corner home site. I really think that that's a great deal for this home. That's one of the things they asked me. It has been on the market for a while, but what I can tell you is probably the reason why is because it was overpriced initially. Now we're down here to where, you know, it should be and it should sell pretty quickly in my opinion at 414.9. It is a 2017 home. It's called the Santa Rosa here in the Finney area in the newer area of the villages. But this floor plan used to be called the Bougainvillea. And if um, that's in a designer neighborhood setting, which is where this home is. This home is in a designer neighborhood. Now, if this same home was in a cottage neighborhood, where it's all wood frame and vinyl homes, then it would be called the Sunkist. And then years ago, in the older parts of the villages, the same exact floor plan used to be called the Amarillo. So if any of you out there are familiar with those floor plans, that's what this home is, with a few little modifications that we'll talk about, okay? So, like I said, on the corner, it is 1,572 square feet living area. And that's because it has a huge Florida room. I believe it's a 15 by 12 Florida room inside there. So if it didn't have the Florida room, the standard square footage of this home would be 1,392 square feet living area. But that Florida room really adds to the extra um, square footage in this home. All right, what else can I tell you? Well, I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and we're gonna do um, a walk around. We'll walk around the outside. We're gonna walk around the inside. I'm gonna try to do this all in one take because David and Trish are really interested in this home. I'm gonna keep this video private until they decide if this is a home they wanna make an offer on. Then if it's not, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up to everybody. So there you go. That's kind of how we do things here at Homes Around the Villages YouTube channel. If somebody asks me to go out and make a video for them, I'm gonna go out, make the video, keep it private for them, and I would do that for you or anybody else. So let's go ahead and get started. I wanna go ahead and do a walk around the outside first. We'll go ahead and go around the inside. So the first thing I wanna point out is the beautiful landscaping. So they do have some nice concrete curbing that goes on around. They do have rock in the front here. Very nice magnolia tree in the front. Very nice job with the landscaping. Golf cart garage, like we mentioned, and on a corner, as we mentioned. So your curbing goes all the way around. This home actually has two bird cages on it. This one bird cage we're getting ready to look at right now is, um, a, is an extension of the lanai. Uh, real quick, before we go over there, I wanna point out tankless water heater. That's great, and it's gas. So there's your gas um, meter right there below it. Tankless water heaters are great. You never run out of hot water. All right, so this is a little bit of what the neighborhood looks like. Those people have a really nice front porch and some rocking chairs out there. So here's the um, first bird cage that um, we come to. So it has roll down screens. 
okay? And what that's gonna do, that roll down screen is gonna give you some extra shade over here. So these are both roll down screens in this added birdcage. Then you have some nice privacy bushes. These are called bottle brush. And then on this side, we even have another bird cage. And I suppose they gave this side another bird cage because there's some privacy between the two homes for this bird cage here. But you still do have privacy with either the uh, privacy hedges or um, the roll down screens. And that roll down screen is even in the lanai area as well. So not only are those roll down screens great for privacy, but they're intended to give some extra shade back there. So I'm gonna go all the way out here to the road again so we can walk up to the house, get a feeling we're walking up to the house again. Big two car garage. So, this is one of the differences between the Bougainvillea and the Santa Rosa, is that this Santa Rosa has an extra front porch area, which is really nice. And then it has this front porch area as well. Nice storm door as you're walking in. And the front door has a beautiful leaded glass insert in it. I really like that. And this is what the house looks like as we enter inside. LVP flooring all throughout, luxury vinyl planking, all throughout the entire home. Ceiling fans all have light kits. Open kitchen. So you have a nice tile kick, kick plate back here, I call it, where you can put chairs around here. And then you have this beautiful, it's a marble looking product. I believe it's quartz, but it's a simulated stone and it's real pretty, I like the way they have the veins running through it like that. You have a big farm sink, stainless steel appliances, toffee colored maple cabinets. Okay, first things first, let's go on into, well, let me back up a little bit, okay. So we'll talk about the main body of the home. So this is your dining area right here. And then big living room area. Now you can put your television over on this side, on this wall, and have sofas coming around like this, or I suggest you put it on this wall. So if the door is open, this is the space you have. And I tell you what, I have my, um, my laser here. So let me see how much space we have on the door, between here and the door. Five feet. 60 inches, and as we know, televisions are measured diagonally. So if you have five feet between the door and the doorway, 
you could probably put a 60-inch television in there, okay? All right, so let's go on into the big, huge Florida room here, and this is 12 feet by 14. 12 by 14 is what I'm showing here. Yeah, almost 15. 14, 8. So it's almost 12 by 15. Now we have, like I said, bird cages on either side. Here's the one. And remember I said, when you're looking out this bird cage, you almost have an unobstructed view through the two houses. This is the lanai over here on this side. So big lanai area. Typically the same size as the Florida room. And then they added a birdcage extension from there. So again, your roll down, your roll down screens, like I said, for privacy and for extra shade. And your master bedroom actually has a sliding glass door that comes right on out to this area. There's your TV outlet. You can put a TV out here if you want. Very nice. Okay. Plantation shutters are all through the house. All through the house. And as we know, those are not cheap. One of the things that David asked me, by the way, nice tile backsplash here, was, uh, was about the pantry. So here's your pantry. Right off the kitchen. So plenty of space in there to put your food. Laundry room. Very nice, spacious laundry room. Dryer, washer, and you have your mop sink in there. While we're here, let's go check out the garage. The garage is huge. It has a painted floor, but it also has, like I said, that um, golf cart garage. It has a water system, water softening and purification system in there. Pull down stairs. There's a light on up there. I'll go ahead and shut that off while I'm there. Um, let me just say that they put some extra, um, what's called silver shield, which helps the penetration of, of heat coming into this garage. And these are um, attic trusses. So there's a lot of extra storage up here in um, that attic area. Tell you what, let me go ahead and take you in there now and I'll shut the light off while I'm up there for them. <clears throat> Look at all that space. Whew. Ton of space up here for storage. Okay. All right. Um, now for the rest of the house. This is a split floor plan. So master bedroom on one side, 
guest suite area on the other side. Nice high ceilings. Master bedroom has your LVP. Like I said, the entire house has LVP through it. His and her closets. Little area for the linens. Matching cabinets. His and her sinks. You have a privacy commode area where you can just shut this off and have privacy, which is nice. The older model of this without this option. This used to be an optional bathroom that you could choose. It was an upgrade to choose it. I think now they're using it as a um, standard, which is great. Here is your shower. And I believe David and Trish asked me what the size of the shower is. So, size of shower, three feet, eight inches by five foot six, I'm gonna say, because my, um, my laser didn't get all the way inside there. So we're gonna say five foot six inches for the shower. So nice, nice size shower, plenty of room. These are what the faucets look like. Looks like a little rain head there. Okay, we head to the other side. And as we do, we'll give another view as we go by. Um, big, big laundry room. Eight foot seven by, my laser's five inches. So by almost seven feet. So eight foot seven by seven feet in here. It's another view of the living room area. Again, that's the wall that I would suggest you put your TV on and then utilize the whole space. Not only that, but if you do that, then anybody who's in the kitchen can see the television from there as well. All right, guest suite area. This is a pocket door where you can, if your guests are here, you can give them their own privacy. We have one room in the back. Linen closet, guest bathroom, tub shower combination. And then a guest bedroom in the front. Here's an idea what the closets look like. So you don't want to give your guests too big of a closet. They might not ever leave, right? You know what they say about guests. If you don't know, I'll kind of leave it at that. All right, um, so David and Trish, Ask me a list of specific questions. I'm going to see if I can't um, make sure that I've answered all of theirs. So the floor is a grayish brown, or what color is the floor? I would say yes. It is kind of more of a brown with a little bit of gray running through it. Hopefully this camera is kind of picking up the the color of the floor. Master bathroom, how wide is it? It looks like the, with the shower head, there's a walk-in room and shower. Color of the floor, 
Um, and then they asked about the pantry as well. Appears the kitchen is small, so maybe that is an issue. I don't know about it being small. Um, so I'm gonna go out to here, actually. So it's 12 feet by, see the end of the counter here, 12 feet by almost 12 feet. There's 11 foot seven. And then they mentioned something about how big the master um, bathroom area is. Well, I'm gonna say, from here, six foot nine, almost, almost seven foot, it just depends. Because you have this whole hallway in here, right? So it's, where do you start for the master bathroom? And then um, wide, it is six foot wide in this space. But then you have the shower, then you have the toilet, area, um, and I'll, I'll give you a look back from here, okay? Uh, let's make sure I'm not missing anything else with their email. And again, if I can do this for you, for the viewing audience, I'm here for you. Um, no power lines, for sure. They asked about that, the color of the floor, the shower in the master bathroom, how wide is it? Looks different with the shower head on the left side and a door there versus a walk-in room and shower. So um, I think there's a lot of wasted space in Roman showers as you have to walk around into it. So I would say you're no less um, of a size for the for the shower, showering area, for sure. Is there a pantry? I showed the pantry. Laundry room is barely shown in the pictures. You know, again, we showed that. So laundry room, pantry. And one more time, the, uh, like I said, this area here, if you had a Roman shower, you have to, walk in and around to get to the showering area. I don't think it's any less space than a Roman shower for sure. The only thing is it has glass. So I don't know how you feel about that. But um, I use rain on my glass shower doors. So if none of you have ever really thought about what to do with a, um, a glass shower, I use rain -X and it just, it just, the, it, the water just sheets right off of it and I have no problems. So anyways, there's a little, little tip for you there. All right, you know what? That's gonna be it. We're done here. Um, we're going to shut everything down and post this video. And uh, so what I wanna do is I wanna do uh, one more thing here. So listen, like I mentioned um, outside, if I can do something like this for you or anybody else who's out there who's really interested in coming and buying a home, especially homes that have a really good price on them, you have to jump. You have to really, you know, get at these things quickly. Right now, this home has been dropped down, I think, to where it is gonna sell quickly now. So, um, if I can help anybody out there to do a video on a home and check it out, let me know, I'm here for you. I am more than happy to come out and even on a Sunday, like I said, today is Sunday, and that's why I ran out here today, because I wanted to make sure that we didn't miss out on an opportunity um, on a home, if this truly is a home that uh, interests Dave and Trish. 
All right, so uh, thanks so much for watching this video, everybody. And uh, we'll hope to see you in our next video. And if I can do something for you, please call our, um, our office at 352-204-9026 or uh, email us. You could reach me at homesaroundthevillages at gmail.com. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.